Yeah, students. Today we discuss about the external forces which are acting uh, and influencing the landforms, which are mainly water and wind. So these two parameters are very very responsible for forming the, the land features on the Earth's crust. For example, usually water and wind act as agents of transforming from one form to the other form. They will transform the, the feature and the shape of landforms. For example, if you see uh, you know, uh, the rock material uh, that will be uh, weathered by the water and with the help of wind that will be you know, eroded and that will transform and then that will be transported to the other place and where it will be deposited. So all these four uh, you know, uh, features you will find in the external process like weathering as weathering is nothing but the breaking and uh, you know uh, you will find the erosion, transportation, and deposition. So usually as we discuss in the primary uh, landforms like first order landforms we, we call as the water and the continents like water and the continents are the first order and second order on the surface of the continents you have uh, seen the mountains and also plains and plateaus which is the second order uh, landforms and these mountainous once due to the external forces or external process becoming you know uh, an other change for example you see the carved mountains and the valleys where you have not uh, naturally formed but later on the it formed due to the water and wind external process are nothing but your third order landforms so and the factors affecting the third order uh, landforms are major weathering, erosion, transportation and deposition of that rock material. So these external forces are uh, you know, water and wind of uh, taking these factors weathering, erosion and transportation deposition. Usually this process of uh, you know, transforming the structure of the ma uh, mountain or plateau you call as a denudation process which is very important for land reformation. So due to this denudation process, you will get third order landforms, which is very important for us to learn about the, you know, for example, deltas are also the example of third order landform. Deltas uh, forming near uh, uh, by the mouth of the sea. Now we see how air and water are transforming the uh, you know, structures of the mountains and all. So for example, if I take uh, the rock material which is on the top uh, on the hill side, so due to the atmospheric pressure and the weathered forces, you know, atmospheric uh, forces due to sunlight and you know, the water also helping uh, this uh, water in a saturated form and forming a day and night temperature, forming the rock material brittle, easy to break. And due to the, the brittle form of this rock and now this is called a weathered, weathered rock where you will find the cracks and all. And then slowly due to the atmospheric forces like you know air and wind you know. So that will be eroded so from the top so putting that uh, you know in smaller particles. And again due to external forces like uh, water, river water and uh, wind so these particles which are weathered particles are you know moving from this area to you know other sometimes it takes it will travel thousands of uh, kilometers it's not like you know only the few kilometers sometimes it will travel thousands of kilometers for example if you see the rock material which is weathered in the himalayan area will take uh, river ganga to the west bengal part and where you will uh, where it is you know uh, so here for example this whole body of the small particle will travel all the way around thousands of kilometers 
and where you will find the flow of the wind or water will become slow then slowly and uh, when if it is you know stopping to carry the material it will drop out it will leave that material there so there the deposition will take place and likewise if this deposition is you know uh, 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 years ago if it is getting the material and dumping here getting the material dumping here slowly it will become compact and forming layer by layer a different uh, material so so this forces forming this igneous rock to your the sedimentary rock or secondary rock so the first rock which formed uh, in the volcanic area is becoming you know and uh, due to this four uh, processes weathering erosion transportation and deposition is becoming first order to second order or primary to a secondary uh, rock material.